and signs everywhere. Signs, signs for your business and signs for your ride. Sign rules is the place where we make your signs. Hello. 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 She stole my part. I know. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. That's great. We are the same girls. Stole my life. Thank you, Rosa, from Carlos and Mickey's for joining us. Yes. We are the Sign Bros. Make sure to click on the link below. We're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of the above. Yes. Good morning. Thank you for joining no, us. No Twitter. Oh, our pleasure. Not Thank you Twitter. so much. We're not Twitter yet? Not Twitter. Oh, okay. No, not, no, Twitter. No, not Twitter. Oh, no. 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 Rosa <laughs> from Carlos and Mickey's, a uh, legendary Carlos and Mickey's. Uh, well, it yes. is. It's true. It uh, now, is. I have it to admit, I've been in California for 15 years, so I have not been to Carlos and Mickey's in about <gasps> 21 years. So oh, I just yeah. got back from California, so I look forward to going. Yeah, definitely. So, yes. you want to say something? No, no, no. <laughs> it's no, it's absolutely legendary Carlos and yes. Mickey's. It's uh, when we say you're gonna go to Carlos and Mickey's, you're expecting a good night. That's just <laughs> that's just the way it is. I've never heard in all the time food, that I've been here. Good entertainment. Never a bad thing about Carlos and Mickey's. I think the only negative thing, if it's the negative thing about Carlos and Mickey's, is that we have to stay in line for 30 minutes. But that is not a bad <laughs> thing. It's worth completely the worth the wait. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, on my end, to tell you the truth, it's humbling to even hear that. Oh. And uh, especially in a time like this, what's going on with us? You know, we've fought in many fights. You know, we've been through. Good times and hard times, you know, and I guess the hard times was September 11th, you know, when that just hit, and wow. we didn't know what was going to happen, and but we stayed open and we we worked through it, and you know, there's been the recession of 2007, and you're mm -hmm. you're you're battling it, and you're trying to get through it, and you do, and then this hit, and it was, you know, actually. Um, quite shocking to tell you the truth. You know, I started my Friday on the 20th of March and I was actually at the bank just trying to see where we're at, yeah. you know, because we had seen just this amazing decline within oh, from wow. Sunday to Monday, you wow. know, and it was, I guess, the first person that had been diagnosed with COVID. And I just get in and my sister turns around and tells me, uh, I said, okay, you know, we're doing this, this and that. And she just looks at, looks at me and she's like, well, haven't you heard? And the wow. governor has closed us down. And I'm like, oh, boom, wow. And, you know, I just had this whole meeting with my staff and I said, we'll get through this. Well, we can handle mm. it. We'll, you know, we just have to give our service, give our best and let's just do this. And, wow. um, and then it hit, and in the decision to stay open and not to stay open, and you know we're a larger uh, restaurant, and um, we thought to ourselves, oh, who do we choose? Who do we pick? Uh, who works? Who doesn't work? Mm, wow. uh, you know, and of course the they were saying about unemployment, and it'll take a week. And then um, and we, we thought about it and we thought, no, you know, I guess the best thing is for us to just to shut down so that for the greater good. And, you know, we only were given two weeks mm. and we were going to be open by April 5th. Uh, yes, April 5th. And so we're OK. Well, we'll just it's our two weeks vacation and this is what we'll do. And the two weeks turned into six weeks. Wow. Um, our east side location, mm -hmm. being a smaller location, uh, could manage it. You know, it could it could take uh, what we couldn't do because we see 300 plus, they wow. see 140. So the just the whole the location, everything would work for them. And so we decided to just stay open there. But wow. um, you know, we opened up the Cinco de Mayo. Um, uh, it, it was an experience, you know, to to have like one of our busiest days, and it was only to go. You know, again, we were trying to be proactive because of the surge sure. that was going mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. um, because we could have opened up earlier, four or five days earlier, May first, I believe, and um, we just thought, no, we we'll, we'll keep it where it's just to go, but. <laughs> And we did fairly well on the Cinco, but the following day it was just nothing. I mean, wow. it was you know a tenth of what we used to do. And you know, and you and you have these employees, and but we got ready, and we're, we we thought positive, and we actually scrubbed the place literally for a week from the top to the bottom. And every rink and corner. Yes, everything. <laughs> wow. Nick and you corner. Nick, yeah, mm -hmm. we we were just. Um, 
thinking, you know, where are we going to put, you know, sanitizers? Where are we going to, how are we going to train our employees? How are we going to get the shields? I mean, there was at one point, you know, that nobody could even get a mask, it seemed, you yeah. know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just to think that we're bringing in people and we don't want to be part of the problem. Sure. We want to be part of the solution, of course, of especially course. because, you know, we're restaurateurs and we're feeding the the body and what we want to give each and every one of our you know, customers and our employees is something that's going to be satisfying, sure. fulfilling, and um, healthy for you. You know, nothing other contrary to that is not who we are and what we are so since may 5th you've been open still right yes and how's it going is it picking up yes you know uh, the, yeah, so yeah. we go back to the you know it's legendary and all this it's been we've had such a, a, a people from el paso all over have given us um recibimiento which i guess in english would mean just well, welcoming, yeah. welcoming yeah. us yes. to thank you thank you i i'll on a friday night when we had we just opened up on a Thursday. We were open on Tuesday. Wednesday, we tanked. And wow. we were getting calls and calls and calls. And I'm like, no, no, we're not open. No, we're mm. not open for Indian dining. And on Thursday, just in the middle of, you know, just seeing people driving in and uh, the phone's not ringing. And you know you have bills. And, mm -hmm. you know, we hadn't been able to get that PPP yet. And, and we're like, how are we going to pay for this? And because you got to pay for it, yeah. you know. So we opened up, and without waitresses, without a bartender, it was just six of us, and wow. we thought, we'll do it however we can. And of course, we never got hit, uh -huh. I mean, slammed, and we never even announced it. We didn't go through Facebook. We didn't go through any of the social media. We just tried to just a soft opening, and we... We got through the day, and um, and each day is uh, it it poses a challenge. Sure. Um, but um, we were blessed. That same day, we got the PPP, and so now we knew that at least we could start bringing in people. Um, and on our end, you know, I I thought, you know, as a, having been a server myself, you know, uh, um, I just thought, how can I get these people? Uh, that have you know are receiving their unemployment how can i make it lucrative to them hmm. you know because i don't know what <clears throat> and how much we're going to have and w what's going to happen so we actually just started with two servers and hmm. i mean on a normal lunch we run eight servers oh. <laughs> yeah well, <laughs> i mean so we're like at a exactly at 25 percent you know but um we we are paying all our servers seven and a quarter right now, mm -hmm. so they're making Compared minimum to their 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 regular two thirteen two, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know the again people have been. I guess they've no. I, I'm not. I don't guess. I'm I'm sure of it. They have known the blow that the hospitality industry sure. has been hit with, and people have been so generous to Understanding them. Understanding and all. That. Yeah, yes. and that is. Uh, just again a, a humbling experience sure. wow. that even when we were doing to go they were tipping us and thanking us oh i'm not surprised wow. that's yeah. good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. but it's, it's it's nice to see i mean you can see the emotion coming out of you because it's something that's very i mean this is how long have you guys had this business well um i always say carlos and mickey's is our field of dreams <laughs> because you know we find ourselves 28 years later wow. um in the same place yeah. and in the same boat. It's unheard of. And we find ourselves, you know, where we thought, you know, uh, we don't need a loan. We're doing okay. We're we're working it. Uh, everybody's got a, a decent uh, hours. We're um, we're we're on our way, you yes, know, yes. actually to hopefully one day retire, you yeah, know, sure. and and um, and then we find ourselves in this position and we're. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's eye awakening, you know what? How much you love your business oh, yeah, and how yeah. much you love your customers, mm -hmm. and and they feed you, you know, and and so <clears throat> we've uh, uh, found strength in that, you know. We're sure. working what we used to work 28 years ago, and that's okay, you know. And and sometimes my managers ask us, you know, are you okay with this? And and I'm like, uh, well, you know, I did go to the doctor and and. Thank goodness, you know, she found everything good, and I'm, I can handle this stress. You know, we can handle this stress. Yeah. We can do this because um, 
on a Friday night, you know, there was a, a little couple on a booth, and they were sharing a margarita. I won't say what size. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that. I can pretty yeah. much guess what size it was. And they're having, you know, just nachos, and they're just they're looking at each other, and it's. Um, I can see the the love, and I can see their joy, and I I pass by and I ask, how's everything going, and how's everything, and she's like, wow, I finally feel normal. Wow, yeah. yes. I finally experienced something that that I I used to do, and I and I feel it this moment, sure. and I just want to thank you, and everything is so clean, and and everything's so delicious, and yeah. and and. Every day, you know, it's uh, okay. So yesterday wasn't so good, but today, what do we do, and how can we change it? What can we, what can we offer? You know, it was a Friday, Thursday night, and and my sister had mentioned to me how outdoor patios. It was Mother's Day, the mm. following day after Mother's Day, that how how outdoor patios are uh, doing well, and you know we have to promote it. And I'm just sitting there, and I just uh, look at my husband, and he, he's a musician at heart. And I look at him, and I'm like, hey, um, let's, why don't we just put live music in the patio? There because we're known yes. for live yes. music, yes, you know? And uh, so, but we just can only get one guy. We just have to make sure that there's just not a group of them, you know, uh, and and just something so that people can come out yeah. and then can enjoy, you know, that that moment mm -hmm. and capture, you know, what we're all missing because there's nothing like. I'm quoting my husband, like live music. Like, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. 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 He's a smart man. I agree 100%. Yeah. 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 But I think going back to the couple, I, I think that the idea of being able to come back to feel like it's normal again, I think is a big impact on some people. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that you guys yeah. are preparing for that, I think it's and, nice. and, and not just that, but that's probably their first choice. Carlos and Mickey was probably their first choice to go out as a couple and have for the first time. That, well, yeah, after a while. Yeah, for yeah. the first time in probably six weeks, and and that's you guys should be very yeah. special, feel very <laughs> special about that. Oh, I, we do, and and it and and it every day there's somebody that comes through the door, and this, I, you know I just see another face of another group that was five or six people, and it was last Friday, and she's just like. <gasps> Oh, and she's looking around the restaurant like if she's you know hasn't seen it forever. <laughs> she had come in from out of town. Um, she only had one night, and um, she just was so happy and thankful. You know, thank you for being open. Thank you for just having us, and it just and you for us it feeds us. Sure, you know, it gives absolutely. us that strength and 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 hope. And we know that you know. Um, that that does not kill you makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think Absolutely. it was a good humbling experience for a lot everybody. Of people, yeah. Yeah. A lot of us, makes you yeah. appreciate what we have and Oh yeah. Don't take it we, for granted. Yeah, right? we were we were we were lucky that we didn't have to close down. We, well, we because everybody to, wanted you. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah. <laughs> You're the well, popular we're just, guy just, in town. <laughs> it, it just just you know, there's some other sign places that just they had to close. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. So so yeah, it is very humbling. It's very but we're it's glad nice. you're you're back on track. We're getting to be back on track. And you and you help people. That's the best part about what you do, is that you know all over El Paso, the need for people to know that they were that they were open and that they had to yes. and just be able to put a sign out there yeah. and say we're open. You know is. Uh -huh. So uh, so right now you're doing. In dining only? Are you not doing a carry out anymore? Oh doing yes, both we're doing curbside. We're okay. doing the to go. We're doing in dining. We're we're up to fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yes. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Yes. I, yesterday I heard the gov uh, the governor uh, you know spoke and gave permission for us to continue with our fifty percent um, tables of ten can now sit together. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. And that's difficult to tell you the truth because you know you you one table came into the restaurant you know and. Three little, no, I think it was four little kids and three um, uh, adults, and you could tell they were all brothers. You know, two brothers and the wife, and they're like, "Can we sit together?" And well, who do you separate? You know, yeah. who do you separate? Right. You know, right. you can't take the kid. You know, you. Yeah. Did the kids sit over there by themselves? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, estaban chiquitos. You know, they no, were no, they no, were okay. they were little. They were in. You know, the dad was holding one oh, of them, and the yeah. other two were <clears> down <throat> here. You know, t two and f four. You know, so it's. It's it's t it's tough, and when you go out to eat, that's part of you know being a family, 
and sure. oh, you yeah. you be together and you listen to live music together. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So right now, uh, uh, when we say the, we're talking specifically about which location when we're talking about the curbside and all that stuff. Uh, both locations are now open. Magruder. And Mont um, and Montwood. And Montwood, okay. Yes. Now the airport one you said is on hold right now, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, we got a letter from HMS Host, and they were they informed us that because of the air traffic, what's going on, and that both locations uh, are closed, you know, and they will be letting us know, um, you know, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, you know, this too shall pass, and you know things will start to, and they will. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. It will. Yeah. It's just trying to survive it, you know, no. trying to get through it. And I travel a lot, and I, I see that all the time. The airport. It's a beautiful location. Oh, thank you. Beautiful location. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just curious. I don't have to answer, but did they approach you to do that, or did you guys have somebody trying to work on that to get a location there? No, actually, they approached That's us. Wow. Yeah. Really? That says yeah. a lot. Yeah, absolutely. They a did a great job. A gentleman by the name of Bob Stanton. Really, really cool. Wow. And he, I, I can still see him sitting at the bar having some <laughs> carnitas. Really? And a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just <laughs> asked you know if we would be interested at one point and and that's how it really got started we didn't that's look great. for them they they came and, you know and the fact that it's placed before security yeah is yeah. excellent so you could just go yeah. to the airport and have a nice meal and not worry about security you know yeah. as, as opposed to having to go yeah in have Very a ticket nice. to go up yeah well yeah. it's a give and take to sure. tell you the truth because some people just want to get to the gate yeah, sure. You know, so <laughs> the cool thing is that they do have that little small uh, uh, Al Bandito Express where you can have a burrito or oh. nachos. Is yeah. that past security? Yeah, it's oh, where I, I Starbucks is. Oh. You know, they have like a little food court and there's uh, uh, several little... Uh, Restaurants there that oh, I don't you think can, I've noticed that, and and, and they're also mo they're all to go, but they do have like a little food uh, an area where oh. you can sit down and eat. Well, very good. Well, if you're yeah, at the airport, the airport check it out. Long. Yeah, it's been a while. It's a beautiful it's, airport too, yeah. by the way. But thank you. Uh, yeah, the airport itself is, is beautiful, and then location there, it did a really good job because it has outdoor seating as well, huh? It does. Yes. Do yes. they serve outdoor? Uh, I guess because of the heat and where it's located, it's good. doesn't. It's not used very often. Oh. It's more used but for a patio where people that um, want to smoke. But it's smoke, beautiful. Yeah. 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 And, Actually, a lot of the patios here in El Paso, that's what, how it started, really, yeah. because smoking was not allowed yeah. into the in <laughs> buildings anymore, and so you had to find, you know, gotcha. an well, in-between. Oh. I want to know, so what's the official name? Los Bandidos de Carlos and Mickey's, or is it shortened to Carlos and Mickey's, or what's the official? Well, I guess... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't care as long as they come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's my love. Feed them and they will come. Yes. <laughs> um, Actually, I uh, prior to having had Carlos and Mickey's, um, I owned a restaurant called Lo El Bandito that was in Dillard's and Cielo Vista Mall oh, okay. many, many years ago. Wow. And um, we lost that location because of an option to renew a lease. Um, mm. I won't go into that yeah, story. Yeah, one of those things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it hurt. But... Um, and then it's funny how you lose something and you think that it's the end. And um, Carlos and Mickey's had been owned and operated by two individuals, uh, Alejandro Vasquez Macias and Enrique Ramos Flores. And they were looking for a manager. Well, uh, I was like, okay, uh, I can be your manager, but I do want a little piece of the action, yeah, you know. Piece of the pie. Yeah, <laughs> because it's going to take, we were selling. Uh, at that time, that's why I tell you, it's like crazy how we, I find ourselves back into where we were. Mm -hmm. Because at the time when I walked in there, we were selling $600 a day. Mm. And um, massive location, you just couldn't pay for yeah, itself yeah. in any way. Wow. And, and from there, <clears throat> with a really bad reputation, uh, things had gone down. You know, we were just no sign, no phone system. Uh, I can go down the no glassware, <laughs> no silverware, no plates, wow. you know. And somehow, you know, with the grace of God, more than anything, because mm. through him I give him all all. All glory, and he gave us the strength and the understanding to do to be able to do what we do, wow. and we brought it from there. And so, even though, and that's what I think, even though we're n not there and it feels like it, um, you know, we've for 28 years we've really tried hard to do our our best. You know, we're not perfect, but we uh, and we make mistakes, and it's it's a hard thing to do. But you know we try to correct it each and every day. But um, we we have so much more uh, now. If you look, if we look back and we do, and we say, well, you know, we we have 
a reputation. We have, we've had the business. We were, we're prepared. We've been given the gifts, and we have the know-how how, how mm. to get past this. And we just have to, like a ship, be steady mm. and and do it right. Stay the course. Stay the course. Mm. And all I, can, I only thing what we tell our managers is, uh, there's no room for mistakes. Yeah. Wow. And that's our every. That's our motto. And then of course. We're going to make mistakes, sure, sure. you know, but it's we're trying. Well, that's our our mindset. Yes, there's no room for wow. mistakes. Very good. How did you awesome. How did you come up with the with the name Cardo Yeah, that was my next question. Okay, uh, well, next question. Question. all right. So I go into this place. <laughs> the history of and this place. Um, uh, these gentlemen they they was already named Cardo Simikis. Yes. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And I'm thinking, okay, so how do I let the people know that from El Bandito? Connected, gotcha. How can I bring it together and mm. let them know that we're now open? And um, uh, and also, uh, but I couldn't call it El Bandito because I, they were asking, my former partners were asking for percentage. And my dad was like, you're not going to give anybody any money from your hard work. Yeah, your name. That you get, yeah. So yeah. you're going to, you can incorporate it. And he's like, okay, well, Carlos and Mickey's, well, we'll keep the Carlos and Mickey's because really the only business that we had was because it was so such a beautiful restaurant mm. that um, people from out of town knew of it or the airport was keeping it alive so we didn't want to close that little fountain out so we named so we added los bandidos which is two sure. carlos and Gotta be plural. right <laughs> <laughs> and so we didn't have to pay anybody any Smart, percentage of our awesome. monies yeah and so that's how it worked wow. who, who, who is carlos and mickey's i mean i know you didn't name it but what who is carlos and mickey's actually prior to enrique <laughs> Carlos and Mickey's We're is digging deep. We're digging oh, deep. yeah. We're digging deep. <laughs> My history. Um, in actuality, Fred Schneider from Schneider Pontiac opened up Carlos and Mickey's. At, it was called Las Casuelas. Okay. He was a gentleman that had um, a car agency, you know, over in on Montana Street. And at that time, which is 1976, 75, there was no restaurants in that area. Uh-huh. And he wanted to be able to have a fine dining experience. And so it occurred to him that he wanted to open up a restaurant. Uh-huh. And he actually got uh, the gentleman, Bill McLaughlin, which was at the time the um, manager of El Paso Country Club. Oh, okay. And wow. to he he was the money, and McLaughlin was the brains. Mind. The brains, yeah, you yeah. know. So he kept it for I don't know about ten years, and then he shut, you know, shut down over here in El Paso. Was that that the same building? Yes, yeah, same building. Same building. Yeah, okay. he gotcha. actually built Carlos and Mickey's. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah, and and wow, the way he built it was just amazing. Beautiful building. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Yeah, you it know, is. it really is. So then he sold it to uh, Mickey Vitar, thus Mickey. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And Carlos, and I can't remember his name, so I'm not gonna. Uh, there were two um, Mexican nationals that uh, uh, were restaurateurs in Juarez. And so, Carlos and Mickey's was came from their two names. Wow. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And this is back in seven, late seventies. I don't. Th- well, Fred Schneider kept it for about ten years. Oh, so in okay. nineteen eighty-five, yes. around there, something, he sold it to them. Gotcha. Interesting. Rodolfo de los Hoyos. There you go. So what happened there? Um, I guess. The peso devaluated and took a dive, and mm. they were trying to just generate money. So they put Carlos and Mickey's up for sale. And I don't know how these, um, my former partners, Enrique and um, um, ended up knowing that because uh, they're mm, from Guadalajara. Huh. But, you know, I guess people know each other, whatever. And they wanted to just invest something in the United States. And there was this beautiful... Wow. Re- and everybody thinks, you know, oh, you know, uh, let's retire and let's open up a Mexican restaurant or a restaurant. <laughs> and they have no idea no what idea. kind oh, yeah. of work it entails. It's and, and then in El Paso, place, of all places, to open up a Mexican restaurant. What do you consider yeah. the food? Is it Mexican, Tex-Mex, a little bit of mix? Uh... I would consider it to be... Mexican food. Okay. I, you know, 
most of all the recipes there are my grandmother's oh, recipes. Really? Oh. Yes, oh. my grandmother was a fantastic, fantastic wow. chef, and so. Um, just sitting in the back of, you know, just as a child seeing her cook. Um, and then uh, my parents actually were the uh, owners of Pancho's Mexican Buffet here in El Paso. Oh, Pancho, I remember Pancho's, on, yeah. Um, off of McCree, yeah. Yeah, so it yeah. actually started on Alameda Street. Oh, okay. I never didn't that. know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. That's the place where you get to raise the little the flag. The little flags, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mine so. never came down. Just stayed up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep the food coming. Uh, the flag girls must have loved you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, you know, I, we're restaurateurs at heart. You know, I, um, I, in actuality, when I was going to school, I wanted to be a history major. And I wanted to uh, be a history teacher. And, um, well, uh, having been uh, working in restaurants all my life, um, my mom said that uh, my my cradle was uh, a box of oranges underneath the register. That, that's where I slept as a child. Wow. Wow. So um, I I played with my mom and uh, I enjoyed every moment of it. And somehow or the other, it life unfolded and and it kept me in this business and. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I blood. love it. Well, and, you well know, here you are giving us history blood. lessons. You're right? teaching. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's lessons. in the blood, you know. <laughs> so going back to what our cuisine is, I, I would say it's Mexican. You know, uh, our food is spicy, you know, uh, because that's how my grandmother cooked. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there was a historian here in El Paso, Cleofas Calleros. Um, beautiful gentleman, just amazing man, you know. Uh, spoke seven to eight languages. I don't want to say more than that because um, but with a second grade uh, uh, schooling at the time and uh, but anyway this historian once said to um, he was a fr family friend and he told us el, ch el chile no es chile si no saca lágrima ni el moco <laughs> so <laughs> that's our True. kind of yes. you know mantra Love we it. do try to uh, incorporate you know the baskets and the burgers because that's who we are sure mm -hmm. We are Mexicans, but we are also Americans. So is there like one dish from your grandmother that really is like a specialty favorite dish. or a specialty that you recommend? You got to try this or? Well, um, all of it. All of of it. You know what <laughs> I, I mean? mean? If you had to pick one, I mean. Yeah, if I was to choose one, what would my, I, you know, it's, it, you know, I, I can't. Right. I, I, I can tell you that, you know, she, um, she loved all cuisine. She, um, she could cook Orient Chinese, she could cook French, wow. she could cook Italian, she could cook. Uh, uh, we had that in our home, there's a cool. chiquito. So it was, uh, I would have to say that I, I, you know, I know now like the rice that we make, which is not a tomatoey rice, that's my mom's, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, flautas, you know, um, I put Rosa's flautas on it because um, I used to make them for some friends of mine and they named them that. but. They were really my grandma's flautas. Mm -hmm. My grandma used to get two corn tortillas, and she would, of course, get her meat or chicken, and she would saute it and do her thing, and then she would roll them up, mm -hmm. and there would be these long flautas. So when we opened up El Bandito, actually, we were the first ones to ever ask a tortilla company to make a square flauta, ah. a square tortilla, mm -hmm. so that that way we wouldn't be using two tortillas because sometimes they break and all that. Ah. So, yeah, so if, if if you were to say, I guess, obviously, you know, they named it, I, I, I didn't name it, actually. Guy and Rex named it Rosas Flautas. But um, <laughs> if I was to say that, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I love flautas, you know. My grandmother made amazing chile rellenos, too, you know. Mm, uh, wow. uh, her frijoles charros, her Jeez. fish, you know, her, her filete del sol. That sounds really good. Yeah, it's, 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 you there's. Could, you could bring out the samples that you brought. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Eight o'clock in the morning and the kitchen is closed. So, <laughs> you're getting somebody hungry. Yeah, 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 actually yeah, yeah. Opening. I, can hear, I can hear his stomach growling. So you me. really should go and visit us. Oh, no, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I like to take oh, yeah, my wife yeah. there because my wife, uh, she loves spicy food. Oh, okay, so good. So I think she'll like that. And we have yeah. burgers and, you know, we have, uh, for the children, you know, you got to think beyond ourselves, you know, be, beyond us. You know, we have uh, chicken fingers. We have, you know, little, uh, little hamburgers. We have quesadillas. We have, mm. you know, uh, corn dogs, you know. 
know, <laughs> a little because bit of you have to, you know, entice those Cater kids to too. To, yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially, you know, they they kind of decide, you know, where you're going to go and eat. <laughs> That's true. That is. You know, if you're going out as a family, you have to think, what are the kids going to eat? Because of course, as a parent. That's your first concern, sure. that your children get, you know, the necessary nutrients. And having that Mickey in the name helps with kids. Too. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go to the Mickey. Let's go to Mickey's. Yay. Who's Carlos? Yay. Who's Carlos? <laughs> no, really. So now tell us about, we're just talking about the kids and the family. Now tell us about the adults. The famous margarita, margarita. drink. Yeah. Oh, yes. Where did that come from? Why did it come? Who's who's alcoholic in the family? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about that. Well, uh, my dad. Oh, really? Mm. My dad, uh, um, by the time that Ponchos had grown, uh, he had a, the, it was a, a corporation. My dad had 70 units at one point when we had sit down seafood restaurants called the Spanish Galleon. Wow. And we had, that's where I learned sit down service because um, we had a restaurant called Emiliano's and it also had live, in, live entertainment. And there was four of them. There was one in Phoenix, there was one in Dallas, there was one in Arlington, and which is oh. the one I worked in. But anyway, um, my dad was in search of the perfect margarita, and my dad wasn't uh, alcoholic at all. <laughs> my dad was... He's an uh, explorer. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> he he um, he um, He just liked a, a delicious everything, to tell you the truth. Mm. And so um, my dad was in Dallas and North Central Highway, and he was at a restaurant, and um, he asked for a margarita, and he was sitting at the bar with some friends. And so... He tasted that margarita, and he's like, "Hmm." And he he pulled out a hundred at the end of the, the 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 evening, and he told the bartender, you know, he hadn't given it to him yet. He says, "Excuse me, you know this recipe, um, it's amazing." You know, bribing him with a hundred. Yeah, well, he yeah. hadn't put it on there oh, yet. Okay. You know, he says, "Do you think you can give me the the recipe?" And he's like, "No, sir. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do that." And he's like, "Oh, okay." Okay, well, it's understandable. I thank you for that. So he drops him the tab, and underneath the tab is a hundred dollar bill. And then the, and he wrote a little note, and it says margarita and a question mark. Ah, <laughs> love it, love it. And that's how he got. And the size of it? Well, the size actually that was Carlos and Mickey's. That was oh, one okay. of the, one of the um, that was one of the things. The good things that Carlos and Mickey's had, um, they were they had that big. Class. In mm. fact, I don't think I'd ever seen anything as quite as big <laughs> when I first walked in there. And, and in all truth, I have yet to this day sit down and have a Texas margarita. Really? Um, yes, I, I just like my drink really frozen, so I have these little ones. And my <laughs> husband always laughs at me and says, don't fool yourself. All those little ones <laughs> add up to a big, big <laughs> Texas margarita. Because uh, wow. frozen margarita is my favorite. Yeah, yeah that's nice. it. And how big, for those who don't know what it is, can you explain to the size of it? And yeah, it's 42 ounces of deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Wow. And if you like mango, and if you like strawberry, mm. and if you just like peach, um, I mean, p prickly pear, watermelon, cocoa, uh, <laughs> you know, the flavors are all yummy. Sure. Uh, but uh, there's the classic, and, you know, uh, that's el... And en gusto se rompen géneros. You know, we all have our own what we like and so you've got a array of liking you know and then you just don't have to have a texas margarita you know we have a, a regular size you know margarita and that's 16 ounces and then we have something we call el paso you know and it's a medium size and um and that's 32 ounces and then there's the texas margarita Four and two ounces wow. yeah and really it's um uh, um if you sip it, you know, it can last you, you know, a couple of hours and you can enjoy yourself. A couple of hours or a couple, <laughs> couple days. A <laughs> wow. couple of hours, a couple of days. Uh, there hours, you go. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, then just well, get that little regular margarita. Yeah. So there's, you can get varieties of it. Oh, yes, of good. course. Yeah. Well, you know, we, it's all about the experience, you know. Trust me that even yesterday I, we had a young couple, no, three kids, young kids over at the bar. And they ordered three Texas, and I, I'll always say, well, "Do you want a glass of water with that?" You know, just to <laughs> just to be safe. Yeah, yeah. and you know, <laughs> or and, maybe and, a life vest in case they fall in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they all were 
pretty big, you know, <laughs> guys. Took a, they were a nice size. So, um, and then, of course, I offer them, you know, un queso fundido or Ooh. some wings or sure. some, you know, just so that they get something in their tummy. Of and, of course. course, chips and salsa always comes to your table. Mm -hmm. So, um, cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can, it kind of helps with the, the absorption of the alcohol, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's uh -huh. not good to drink that much in an empty stomach. No, sure. it's not. Not. And you know, it, and, it, and there's some people that you, we're trained, and that's our that's our number one priority in, in actuality. Uh, you know, is to make sure that sure. that everybody uh, is drinking responsibly. Don't it, sure. Because you know, you know, we have children, grandchildren, yeah. and we we want to make sure that everybody makes sure, it home. Sure, of course. Yeah. Um, and there's always the you know, how are they and what's going on. You you get trained, but you know, there's there's people again with the empty stomach. You can see a. a you know, even men we've seen walk in there and, you know, they order a regular margarita and before you know it, they're just like, whoa. Stumbling out the door. <laughs> yeah, because they haven't eaten all day. Sure. You know what I mean? And that's where, you oh, know, yeah. that's where drinking responsibly sure. is so important. And, and it's not our fault. Hmm. Because if you see somebody that's six foot, you know, drinking yeah. a margarita, you're like, hmm. Yeah, yeah and you know? just assume that he's eating something. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> that's how fast the heat doesn't help you. Yeah, either. exactly. <laughs> and, and that's actually when it mm -hmm. happens most yeah. in the summer. Sure. And then, of course, there's the girls that, you know, I. Uh, they're going. They're going to drink their calories in their mind, you know, and so that's why it's always important, you know, yeah. rule of thumb for every and anybody that really you know wants to enjoy themselves and have it, you know, for every time you have uh, alcohol, you should have a glass of water with it, yeah, you know, chase it with a glass it. of water so that you can. It's really the sugar that kills you. Balance yourself. Up. That I mean, that's what gives you that. Sure. You know, right, well, yeah, of course, for the alcohol, but yeah. <laughs> but we try. We Good. really, because that's not who we really are. Sure. We're restaurateurs. Yeah. We're not. We're not a bar. You sure. know, the cantina came with it. You mm -hmm. know, and um, and it, and and it's amazing. You know, I miss, we miss it. You know, on a Thursday night for us to. For 28 years, you know, we had mariachis on Thursday night, you know, and, and here it is Thursday night, and, and, and we're not even going to go there, you know, because we don't want to keep people sure. there. We don't want to, uh, we want to follow through so that we can find ourselves six months into this sure. or a year that we can go back to letting things no. get back to, do you know, what the way we, it was before. The way it yes, was, absolutely. somewhat normal. And wow. uh, we miss it, but for now, you know, we're going to follow sure. and, uh, the lead, you know, of, of our governor and of our state officials and our, our city and county health um, and our mayor, and, and we're just doing our part. Sure. Absolutely. Oh, we wish you luck in that, yes. definitely. Is the margarita curbside service? Yes, it is. That was is it really? really? Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that was good. That, that, that was... Know. That but was, not the glass. Uh, not the no, glass. No, no. Well, in actuality, on Cinco de Mayo, we actually gave mason jars out, oh, you know? Uh, yeah. nice. well, I, I have a few of these. I, I don't think I've gotten any at the original one, but the one here on Mott with the little... Uh, clay ones yeah 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 oh yeah yeah, yeah. actually we brought those from those. guadalajara oh really mm -hmm. yeah just as giveaways you know for cinco de mayo you know um everybody likes a little uh, something yeah, you sure know here. and so that's that's it's a gift from us you know um nice. and that's how we opened up you know with having a little uh, mason jar and it also kept things secure mm -hmm. um you know that was, you know, very thoughtful, and, and I must have been uh, uh, insightful on the, the team of Governor Abbott to just allow restaurants to be able to sell alcohol out the door mm -hmm. for it to go, because if it had been for that, we would... Yeah, you had crowds and... Yeah. Oh, it would have been... It, it just... I know, business-wise, you mm -hmm. know, it mm -hmm. just ups your sale and allows you to have... To stay afloat, gotcha. it's yes. it's a gift, really. It's something that you know we've got a sign at the door that says no alcohol beyond this mm. for years, mm -hmm. and here now we're doing it. Uh. But you do it with uh, like the margarita, you know. You 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 first have to um, we just have the mix, and then we just attach the uh, the tequila that goes with it, you sure. know. So that way you're you're in compliance with open. Um, container, open container, mm -hmm. and so yeah. Is that is that the rule? It's got to be sealed. 
Yes, the, the, the bottle has to be sealed, sealed. the, the, the alcohol, sealed. right, mm. exactly. And, and so, you know, the, the first day it came out, you know, the, everybody was like, whoa, you know. They, were, they didn't give a specific, but by the third, second day, no, actually by the second day, it was like oh, everything has to be sealed and whatever. It's like, wow, how do you even do that? <laughs> but, you know, then they, of course, the distillers, you know, started, well, oh, you know, we've got the they jumped on one point. Oh, 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 yeah. like oh, that. All Be- over it. Oh, before yeah. you could whistle Dixie, you know, all of a sudden you had, <laughs> and that's really what helped Montwood, you know, and that helped uh, um, the location there because it, we, they could sell the margarita and they could, and then, you know, people that go to Carlos and Mickey's, that's, you know, it's, Signature. we've won Best Margarita for the past 28 years yes. in a row. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Excellent. Very but, well deserved. Well, thank you. But you know, as for for us, it, I consider myself a oh, restaurant tour, mm-hmm. and it, every time we don't win, it's just like. But you know, you have to be thankful for the <laughs> gifts that you're given, yeah. and you can only try. And there's so many great restaurants, Mexican restaurants out there here in El Paso. Mm-hmm. You know that, just like my grandma. All these abuelitas, you know, have taught, you know, all these restaurant tours or mothers have taught these restaurant tours how to cook and how to be hospitable because you can go into any, you know, um, when I first met my mother-in-law, um, It's okay. Take, it's your okay. Time. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Every time I would go into her, it was always, Mijita, como esta? Venga a los frijolitos. Mm. You know, there was never a time when you walked into her house that that she didn't offer you something uh, delicious. And it was a frijolitos. My mother in law was an amazing mm. cook, also. Wow. I guess that's why my husband loved me. <laughs> <laughs> No. Because I could cook, yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, that's always a bonus. Yeah, you know, and that's who you are as a culture, sure. you know. Exactly. And El Paso is a perfect mirror of that, you know. There's amazing Ellen J's, Andales, I mean, Gallegos, uh, mm-hmm. so many. I can't even name them, you know. They're 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 uh, Avilas, Leos, uh, people of Forties, you know, that uh, that know that culture and know. Um, what it is to be hospitable and have people come into their house and um, and we can give you frijolitos if that's what you want you know what I mean and uh, at one point we were even giving it you know uh, with the, the salsa we were giving some little frijolitos mm. just so that you could tostear you know there's always <laughs> all different ideas sure, you sure. know we're trying to come up with and uh, and then here we are yes absolutely oh, wow are you guys at full menu right now we're, yeah, we, my, my nephew, crazy, we actually never, ever, ever went into a, a minimized menu. Oh, wow. Yeah, all 70 something wow. uh, items, yes. items wow. uh, have been on the menu. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's just, um, it's, it, and it's kind of, you know, you think of each one of us have our own favorites, you know, because we all have different palates. Um, and so when you go into your favorite restaurant and you you got in your mind, what do I want? And then for them to say, no, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. and you're yeah. like, oh, yes, yes, yes. You know? and I hate like when you go into like different restaurants, I won't mention names. And, <laughs> and then, you know, I, you know, I loved a specific dish from it. And then like, oh, we've changed our menu. And you're like, mm. oh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you feel embarrassed having to leave because you came for that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it's not the server's fault sure, and it's exactly. not yeah, the yeah, restaurant yeah. established fault. Sure. There's somebody else that's deciding that. And so yes. that's why I guess Juno, Julian, and Yanita both decided, you know, well, let's, we've got it. And, 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 and it all works, you know, if, if uh, it, it all works. The only thing that it's hurting us right now is that we can't have a Sunday buffet, you know, that's, mm. that's the one thing that... Do, do you think the buffet will ever come back? You know, I, I honestly, people say that it's never going to be normal. You know, I, I think of a um, hundred years ago when the Spanish flu hit, they were like, oh, you know, I'm sure they were even in much worse uh, place and, and, and time. Yeah. And a and hundred years, you know, without the same kind of knowledge that has come out through science and medicine. So, you know, 
the Roaring Twenties were right past that Spanish flu. So yeah. if they and they were dancing and jitterbugging <laughs> and drinking and you know, yeah. I'm I'm for certain in uh, that this too shall pass yeah, exactly. and that I we'll find so. ourselves. Things change, trends mm -hmm. change, you know. But um, a, a Sunday buffet, a Sunday brunch, you know, when you go out and you had a nice or a hard work you know, week and you finally, you know, been to church and you want to take your family out and you want to have like a variety. You sure. want to have mm -hmm. your menudo and you might want to have your caldito and you want to might have enchiladas or gorditas or carnitas or you want a shrimp cocktail or you feel like some nachos or you feel like, you know, some churros or, you know, whatever. Yes, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, it's 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 a it's a treat, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. And then in the background, you know, you're hearing the uh, the trio music. playing, mm -hmm. and you know, your music and every. The thing about restaurants is that it gives you an opportunity to go back to your history, yes. to your time. It, mm -hmm. it takes you back to when you were a kid. And you were with your abuelos or with your grandparents and that they would take you out and you would hear this and you were like, wow, I just remember going out with my parents to Juarez or my, my tios and, and I can still, I could hear it. And that's what Carlos and Mickey's became, yeah. mm -hmm. part of our past. Sure. And with my sisters that worked at the restaurant um, and with my husband and, and together collectively, well, We've done it with love. We've done it with passion. We've done it with strength. And sometimes you have to be a little strict. Not sometimes, a lot, a of, lot times. of times. <laughs> and though you don't want to, you know, you want to, you don't walk in into work thinking today I'm going to give you a hard time or today I'm, no, you just, you know, it's funny. I, every time that we would fail at the restaurant, I would say, you know what? If we continue this path, we're going to find ourselves where we were 20 years ago. And, and you know, it's the, everybody was just like, yeah, right, right, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now it's just like I turn around and, and I'm like, okay, now we're living what I told you what could yeah. happen. But this time it wasn't our fault. Our fault, yeah. <laughs> this time it was, mm -hmm. it was what happened. And, and now we're fighting uh, for our lives. And it's a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And it's a... <laughs> it's just uh, it's something that we have to get past and uh, and and we will, and we will. <laughs> oh yeah Definitely. absolutely we just have to dot our eyes and cross our t's mm -hmm. watch where our spending uh, and hope for the best you know and I have to give it the government has helped us with you know the PPP that uh, has been so um, helpful mm -hmm. um, just knowing that we can Every time that you know it's a busy day, every time it's, and you know, I we can't do it with these kind uh, with these few employees. We need more because people are coming out sure. and they don't want a bad service. They don't want you know they want f the, everything fresh, everything clean, and feel secure. Mm -hmm. And it's it's allowed us to say, okay, today we need another bartender. Today we need wow. two more servers. Today, and then just trying to find everybody, and then. And some people just not answering, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that it, that's that in itself is, is is a situation, you know. But we'll get past this. Yeah, I believe so too. For sure, definitely. For sure. So let us know. You are all on social media, Facebook. What do you have so people can uh, Instagram? Check out? Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes, we we'll are. post it all on screen. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. we do. We're trying. We sure. we actually have somebody that. Her name's Cynthia Lara, and, and, and Yanitas does our Montwood. They both work really hard and uh, to try to get it right. And just to let you know what we're offering and, you know, being open up and just getting live music into the patio. You know, of course, there's people that are going to be like, why are you doing this and this and sure, the other? And sure. you're like, you know what? We're doing social distancing. We're up in the open air. You know, we're, we're, we're thinking here. We're not just thinking, <laughs> oh, it's all about the money. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We're, we're thinking, how can we sure. provide... Uh, that little escape, that little bit of normalcy right. in a time where things aren't normal. Exactly. Yeah. 
Very good. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait to go have some yeah. green chicken enchiladas. Oh, They're green chicken. Favorite. Well, <laughs> wherever you want to, we're both. We're green all chile verbal. chicken enchiladas. Yes. Green chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> chile chicken enchiladas. Right. Oh, or it's chile con queso, you know. <laughs> Are you guys also doing DoorDash and the food delivery system? Yeah, or? we have okay. a, a, d- a delivery system, and we're online, too, you know, okay. and that's also a new experience, you know, so. in Jow now. Take advantage and call ahead if they're going to curbside. Yeah. Get yes, you exactly. Well, the full menu. And you got the full menu, full menu. right? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Cool. I, I'm, I'm excited that you were able to, to join us. Yes. Oh, thank you. Carlos and Mickey. Uh-huh. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you, yeah, guys. Thanks for joining Once again, us. we are the Sign Bros. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we're signing off. Carlos and Mickey. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Sign Bros is the place where we make a sign.